Jersey Finger. Jersey Finger is an avulsion of the flexor digitorum profundus from its insertion at the base of the distal pharynx. It occurs in zone 1, which is located from the insertion of the flexor digitorum superficialis distally. These are the zones of flexor tendon injury, and this is zone 1. The ring finger is affected in about 75% of patients. The mechanism of injury is a forced extension of the flexed finger by violent traction on flexed distal pharynx. It occurs in football when grabbing the jersey of an opponent who is pulling or running away. The flexor digitorum profundus is supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve and by the unknown nerve, as you can see here in this diagram. The tendon may be torn from the distal pharynx or may avulse with a bony fragment. The tendon could retract at different levels. The tendon usually retracts to about the level of the PIP, and it stops at a passage through the flexor digitorum superficialis tendon. It could retract into the palm, and the blood supply of the tendon can be compromised, and there is a classification for the jersey finger injury. Type 1, the tendon is retracted to the palm. Usually the treatment is surgery and it should be done within 10 days. It is kind of an urgent surgery because of disruption of the blood supply. Type 2, the flexor digitorum profundus retract to the level of the PIP. You can repair that within a few weeks. Type 3, Large avulsion fracture limits retraction to the DIP. Type 4, bony avulsion fragment plus avulsion and retraction of the tendon, maybe to the palm. Examination. The finger lies in a slight extension relative to the other fingers in the resting position. Inability to flex the finger DIP, no active DIP flexion. Patient may have tenderness along the retracted flexor tendon proximally. How do you test for the profundus? Hold the PIP straight and flex the DIP. If the patient can flex the DIP joint, then the flexor digitorum profundus is intact. When there is a profundus tendon avulsion, the patient will be unable to actively flex the DIP. How do you test for the superficialis? Hold the MCP straight and flex the PIP or hold all fingers in extension except the affected one and flex. X-ray, you may see avulsion fracture. Treatment, direct tendon repair may use a dorsal button if the injury is less than three weeks. However, if you advance the tendon more than one centimeter, it may lead to quadrigia or DIP flexion contracture. Open reduction internal fixation of the fracture fragment, usually 
in type 3 and type 4 and in type 4 you fix the fracture first then you repair the tendon to the bony fragment if the chronic injury is more than three months and if there is a stiffness of the dip you will do arthrodesis of the dip fuse the dip how about two stage flexor tendon grafting you will do it in chronic injury more than three months in a young patient with full passive range of the DIP. In this case, you may also excise the polymer mass. Why do you use two stages? Because the pseudo sheath that's formed around the implant in the first stage usually reduces the formation of postoperative adhesions to the tendon graft in the second stage. The differential diagnosis of jersey finger is a mallet deformity and a boitinaire deformity. Mallet finger is avulsion of the insertion of the extensor digitorum longus tendon. The patient will be unable to actively extend the distal pharynx and the finger will assume a flexed position. Watinaire deformity is a chronic rupture of the central slip of the extensor tendon. There will be flexion of the PIP joint and the extension of the DIP and MCP joints. You definitely will have flexion of the PIP joint. When the central slip is ruptured acutely, there will be no active PIP extension, but there will be passive PIP extension. As the condition progresses and becomes chronic, both active and passive PIP extension may not be present. The JC finger involves an avulsion of the flexor digitorum profundus tendon. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.